Back in 2003, I had no concept of the quest that would eventually turn into a journey around all five North American Great Lakes over the course of the next five years. This video is the start of multiple journeys. It was my first long distance bicycle tour, and in fact, this tour marked the first time I had ever ridden more than 93 kilometers in a day on a bicycle. I also discovered more about myself, confirmed the goodness of people, and uncovered a love of photography. It's Noble Endeavors coming to you. Get ready for some escapades and adventures too. Enjoy the journey and the fun we're bringing to you. These pictures are memory aids. The horses make me remember how it felt to pedal down a quiet farm lane surrounded by open fields and pastures. Watching large ships travel the Welland Canal was incredible. As much as I enjoy seeing the pictures I captured, there are many that I didn't get. I recall riding in a highway construction zone in Ohio. Trucks would be let through in groups of 10 to 15 at a time to allow construction to continue. There was a strong headwind that day, so it took me a lot longer to cross the construction zone. As a result, the trucks would come by and disrupt the headwind, allowing me to pick up speed. As they disappeared in the distance, the headwind would return, causing me to downshift in order to keep moving. I referred to this as surfing the truck bow waves. On this tour, more than any other, I was really preoccupied with taking pictures of signs. Having circled Lake Superior on a bicycle, I do find it amusing now to see the steep grade sign from my Lake Erie tour. Back in 2003, hammock camping was very, very new for most people outside the light or ultralight hiking communities. During this tour, I used hammocks for the first time very successfully, in many cases having a sleep just as good as back home. However, the first few days were rough because I used the hammock initially without an insulating underpad. On my second night, I woke up shivering at 3 a.m. because the hammock was very efficiently sucking away my heat. Luckily, I had packed a thermarest in case I had to use the hammock without trees, and once I used it as an insulation layer, sleeping was fantastic. Between 1776 and 1815, the United States invaded what would become Canada twice. This war was devastating to both countries and very hard on the people in its path. Some towns and villages were completely destroyed, and even today, more than 200 years later, they haven't been rebuilt. Thankfully, both countries have successfully put this past behind us. Today, we are strong allies who come to each other's aid numerous times. Old military outposts are now museums. Instead of armies on the borders, we have memorials to that unfortunate time. Lake Erie was a major battleground for that war, making this a major component of the touring experience. My second rest day of the tour was at Put-in Bay. What was particularly enjoyable was that on my bicycle, I was the fastest vehicle on the island. Cars were banned, so people either walked, used bicycles, or rode golf carts. I explored, checking out museums and viewing the local sites. Of special interest to me was the wooden rims and the old bicycle equipment. Seldom does a bicycle tour go perfectly without at least some mechanical mishap. On this tour, I was surprised to break not one, but two pedals. Egg beater pedals were a brand new product at the time, and the initial generation had no way to do grease maintenance. I suspect that's what led to its failure. On future tours, I actually carried a spare set of pedals, however, I never had another pedal failure. I did, however, do pedal maintenance on tour, replacing the grease usually at the halfway point. Here's another look at the map. I was happy with the overall journey, the things I saw, and the people I met along the way. When my Lake Erie tour ended, I had no serious thoughts about bicycling around another lake. As you can see, in 2004, I did indeed kick off another journey, this time around Lake Huron. Enjoy the journey. It's Noble Endeavors coming to you. Get ready for some escapades and adventures too. Enjoy the journey and the fun we're bringing.